In these problems, we have exponential equations, and we need to solve for x in these. And unfortunately, the x's are up here in the exponents, and the bases are not bases that uh, we can easily manipulate to make the same. So there's no power. Uh, these aren't powers of some number that they have in common. So how do we handle a situation like this? Well, usually the first best step is to take the log of both sides. As long as we do it to both sides of the equal sign, we're, we're allowed to do that. It doesn't really change the value of the equation. And once we take the log, we're going to be able to get these exponents down out of the power slot uh, where we can deal with them more effectively. Uh, there are quite a few steps in this, but I think it'll make sense if you take it uh, piece by piece. So let's start just by taking the log of both sides of the equation. So this is going to be the log of 6 to the negative 9x, and it's going to equal the log of 17 to the x plus 7. Now the reason it's beneficial to take the log here is because these powers can come out by the, the power property of logarithms. They can be multiplied onto the front of a log. So I'm going to do that. So this is going to be negative 9x times the log of 6. And this is going to be x plus 7 times the log of 17. OK, things are looking better. We've got the x's out here as just uh, things that are multiplied by other things rather than exponents. So we're, we're making progress. What I need to do is be in a situation where I can factor the x, have all the x's on one side, and then factor out everything else um, that's not x. So uh, what I need to do first is distribute this log of 17 across the set of parentheses. I need to get at that x and break that out separately. So when I do that, I get x times the log of 17. And I get 7 times the log of 17. And that still equals negative 9x times the log of 6. My next step is to get all the x terms on one side of the equation. So I've got to subtract this x log 17 from both sides. When I do that over here, I'm going to get a negative x times a log of 17 minus 9x times the log of 6 equals, and over here I'll just get these two add up to 0, I'll just get 7 times the log of 17. All right, this may look way more complicated than what we started with, but we're almost there to solving for x. All I need to do over here now is just factor an x. I've got two terms here, and both have an x in the term, so I can factor an x out. So if I do that, I take the x out. What I'm left with here is a negative log of 17 minus 9 log 6, and that equals 7 log 17. And then finally, I'm going to divide this side by what's in the parentheses. That'll leave only x over there. So we're dividing by negative log 17 minus 9 log 6. And of course, we have to divide both sides by the same expression. So negative log of 17 minus 9, oops, forgot the 6 here, log 6. OK. A lot of steps, but what we've done now is we've isolated x on the left side here, and we're left with just this expression. And you'll see this is something we could simply type into a calculator and get a value for. It'll take a little work, but we can do it. So let's um, let's try that. Let's see. They're telling us we want to round to the nearest thousandth when we finally get an answer, but not to round the intermediate computations. So let's try getting um, this bottom part first. So let's take 17 and take the log of it. And we'll make that negative. So that's this chunk right here. And oops, this is 9 log 6. So we want, um, I'm going to just put that into memory here. And then we want 6. And we'll take the log of that and multiply by 9. And let's see, we're going to subtract that from this value. So I'm just going to make it negative and add it to the memory. All right, now let's recall. 
So that's what we've got on the bottom, negative 8 point blah, blah, blah. We're going to divide this by that. So let's type in 17, and we'll take the log of that, and then we multiply that by 7. And then we're going to divide by what's in the memory here. And we get negative 1.05 to the nearest hundredth. So x equals a negative 1.05. So a lot of steps to get there, but we started with something that looked pretty tough, and we got a value for it. So let's try one more since that was so many steps. Let's, let's practice this again. So this one we have 13 uh, to the 7x equals 4 to the x minus 8. We're going to do the same steps. We're going to take the log of both sides. So the log of 13 to the 7x equals the log of 4 to the x minus 8. Then we use the, um, the property of logs that says we can take the exponent and multiply it out front here. So we get 7x times the log of 13 equals x minus 8 times the log of 4. Then we need to get this x out of this parentheses, so we uh, distribute the log 4. So over here we'll get 7x times the log of 13 still. And over here we'll have x log 4 and minus 8 log 4. Now we need to rearrange the terms so that we have all the x terms on one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract x log 4. On this side, we're going to have 7x log 13. And uh, minus x log 4. And over here, we're just left with, after this goes away, we're left with negative 8 log 4. All right, now we can factor out an x. When we do that, we're left with 7 log 13 minus log 4. And over here, negative 8 log 4. And finally, we're going to divide by this quantity right here. When we do that, this will go away, and over here we'll get 7 log 13 minus log 4. All right, let's see if we can calculate a value for this one. We'll bring up the calculator again. Let's see, I'll make sure to clear out my memory. And let's start by calculating what's on the bottom here. So we've got 7 log 13 minus log 4. So I'm going to type in 13. Take the log, multiply it by 7. I think we can do this all without resulting to memory uh, for this step. So I'm going to minus and then put 4 log and equals. So that's our bottom. Let's store that into memory. OK. Now we're going to have a negative 8. Whoops, I forgot to write the uh, 4 there. Negative 8 times a log 4. Whoa. Sorry about that. So let's try that. 4, we'll take the log, multiply that by 8, negative 8. So that's the top. Now we're going to divide by the bottom. So divide by memory recall. And we get negative 0.67. All right, so that is how to solve these types of exponential equations where you can't make the bases the same by just taking the logs of both sides.